In this film, I'm going to meet some people who will give us some insights into the world of big tobacco, why we have to stay vigilant, and what we can do to promote tobacco-free living. So over there is the Hong Kong and Chinese border. It's reckoned that billions of cigarettes flow out of China each year. Here in Hong Kong, the number of smokers is actually falling. Tobacco companies are switching their attention to countries where advertising regulation, tax, and health warnings are much weaker. I don't smoke, but my father is a smoker. And I really worry about his health and what smoking is doing to him. I know a lot of people feel the same way about their friends and family too. But we all have our part to play in creating tobacco-free living, because tobacco affects us all. So Judith, what is the tobacco industry doing to recruit new customers? Uh, the tobacco industry nowadays is having to use many new means of recruiting young people because they're no longer allowed to advertise in most countries on TV, on billboards and newspapers. So what they have now done is to try many different routes, particularly on social media. And in these, they actually embed images of people smoking and also of brands. What are your thoughts on vaping? Uh, I'm not too much informed about it. I did try it, though. I mean, I have to admit, it's not the same as smoking. Vaping and e-cigarettes are a difficult challenge for the public health community. Governments are having to decide what to do about these e-cigarettes before we actually have the science. In historical terms, we've been fooled twice by the industry. Once they said that filter cigarettes were safe. Secondly, they said the low-tar cigarettes were safe. And now they're coming up with the third product that they're portraying as being safer, if not safe. And I think we have to have a very high level of cynicism and question about really what these products products are about. I work for AXA, and we recently disinvested from tobacco stocks and bonds. We know it's much better for the health of our customers, but can we as individuals take on the tobacco industry? There are ways to do it. Billions of dollars worth of stocks are traded every day, including those with an exposure to tobacco. Take a very close look at your portfolio, and if it's got tobacco in it, work with your financial advisor to ensure your retirement and savings portfolio doesn't have any of it. What do you think we can do as a community to promote tobacco-free living? Uh, I'd say just put a really high tax on smoking. Photos of the consequences of smoking on the cigarette packets is a great movement to start off, and then also continuously educating the young We've seen the things we can do to reduce the industry's influence. Thinking about our own investments, being aware of how tobacco companies market to us today, and demanding that our elected leaders take measures to curb the industry's influence. Tobacco killed my grandfather, and yet members of my family still smoke. I'm going on a journey to find out what solutions are out there to help them quit.